Yo, what's happening guys? My name is Beastie and welcome back to the channel and today ladies and gentlemen We are on a little game a game that most of you will probably know is entitled 60 seconds Yeah, 60 seconds. What, what is this BS? We, we want something cool damn it. L listen, okay I played this game a little while ago back when I had I think like oh god 400 500 subscribers and it was a lot of fun and I want to play it again because we have never survived if you don't know what this game is basically you're trying to survive in a fallout bunker oh yes and you have to make choices in the daily diary and then uh, eventually the army is supposed to come and rescue you I never made it because I suck at surviving if this were real life no joke I would have been dead ages ago no no, no I'm, I'm not even joking okay i am the worst person on earth when it comes to survival i don't know anything about surviving I, I would be i would be dead like i would be the guy in the street as the bombs dropping from the plane about to blow up the big nuclear bomb i'd be like Ooh, look at the pretty bomb boom and then and then i would be dead and, and it, it would be sad but also it wouldn't be sad because the world wouldn't miss me because i'm just a i'm a burden burning up extra oxygen and not contributing to society but uh yeah anyway guys we're gonna be playing this game we're gonna go to a new game down here and if you don't know what this game is it, it'll become very apparent in a moment we're gonna go with good old apocalypse where we basically spawn him and of course I, I couldn't even beat the little boy i mean come on man come on how bad at a game can you possibly be if you can't survive the easiest game mode but uh, I, I think we all know that, that that's pretty much me i couldn't survive in a game for more than five seconds i'll not survive in real life and ladies and gentlemen welcome to 60 seconds basically here's what we did we have 60 seconds and right now it's the uh, pre-scavenging mode we're gonna look around all right we got gas mask over there we've got and by the way i played as ted the big old fatty i love this game so much bug sprays down there bullets are right there we've got the gun on the mantle and this all right so you know what i'm gonna do this i'm gonna go for the gun right now grab the gun Grab gun, grab soup, grab soup. There we go. Gun's very, very important. We're gonna throw all that down there. Rush in here. The gas mask is really important. We're in the scavenging mode right now, boys. Grab the gas mask. Grab uh, water. Get your fat ass in there. Grab some more water. We definitely need all the water we can get our fat hands on. First aid kit. Go and grab something, you son of a bitch. Run in here. Run, 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 run. Drop down there. Drop down there. Oh god, it's been so long since I played this game. I'm so bad at uh, radio. Uh, food. There we go. And then we're gonna drop this down here. Oh, 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 yeah. Run, 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 grab, 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 all right, uh, first aid kit, definitely gonna come in handy, grab the bug sprite, there we go, oh god, run, 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 and then, uh, Mary Jane's over here, she turns into a mutant, very helpful in this type of case, throw you down there, I don't care about the kid right now, I, I, the boy can, he, he's useless, useless, I tell you, throw that down there, um, 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 um uh, suitcase, uh, flashlight, there we go, run, 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 I don't think I have enough time to go back, boys, no, I don't, all right, we're gonna have to chill here, I could have made it, Son of a biscuit! For ah! I, I could have made it one more round. God dang it, dude! Ah! All right, hold up. What's the damages? What did what did I what did I get? I know I got the fire axe. I got the gun. I got the ammunition. Oh, I love this game. All right. So good old Timmy, good old Timbo did not make it. But what did we get? Let's check this the uh, thing. Oh wait, 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 hold up. Is there? Can I put? All right, there we go. So we got the fire axe. That's good. We're definitely gonna need that. We already got a bug in here. Hey, screw off bug. We've got a suitcase. We've got a radio. We've got a map. We've got a gun. We've got bullets for the gun. We've got bug spray, cards, Ted, uh, a Dolores, uh, Mary Jane. We've got five cans of soup. We got a giant thing of water. Two more little bottles of water. A first aid kit. A padlock. And a mother freaking gas mask. I, I think that's pretty good. I think I did pretty good. Especially since I haven't touched this game in like. I don't know, four months? Day one. We got to the shelter just in time. Good thing Mary Jane didn't bring her tuba. Yes, it is. Uh, we would have loved to have had this stupid fat bitch in the shelter with us paying her. <laughs> Wait, that's not a tuba. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> no. How do you make a tuba noise? Damn it. Hold up, hold up. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I, I was. I, I literally have been sitting here for five minutes trying to do a tuba noise. I, I, I know that you could do a. Nope, that's not a tuba. Hold up. I don't even know. Is that a tuba sounds like like that? I, 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 I'm sorry. You know I'm insane. The fan noise uh, here is bad enough. Wait a second. Where's Timmy? 
Timmy boy is nothing but a pile of ashes with spoons upstairs. Well, upstairs, you know, above the shelter. What's left of Timmy is above the shelter, and he's a pile of ashes. And more than likely, somebody peed in those ashes because you cannot resist peeing in ashes. Am, am I right? I don't want to talk about Grandpa's uh, uh, vase where we kept his cremated ashes. <laughs> it, it was a bad show, boy. It's just uh, better we not talk about it. But uh, we can't remember bringing those supplies down to the shelter, but we're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it better anyway. So, okay, all right, I understand. We got the padlock, the cards, and the soup because they were already down here. Now, who in their right mind does it stock a shelter before this happens? <laughs> I don't know. Good thing we grabbed that suitcase. What we found inside will definitely pr prove useful. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Uh, plus one fire axe, plus one water. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. And sometimes we'll stick our penis in the shaved part of the can and cut it. Oh, that'll be exciting. Some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. This is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure this is a good amount of supplies. Hey, yes, it is, Ted. Now, the only thing is, can we go longer than five minutes without going insane? Now, if you guys haven't seen this game before, Ted could go insane if he doesn't have amusement. I, I don't know what, what how else you would actually explain this, but he'll go insane if you make wrong choices, basically. So, day number one, nothing until day number three. They're not getting food, they're not getting water, they cannot fart because we will die because we're in a little shelter, and if you have apple juice farts, oh, you're gonna die. Day one, one minute it was all fine, and the next we were at each other's throats. You're already fighting! You've been in the shelter for one damn day, Ted! Oh my god, these guys, I swear, they're, they're crazy bunch of kids. I, how did this happen? This is insane. We need to get a grip on ourselves if we're going to survive this. Let's just sleep on it. Yeah, yes, let's sleep on it. O on the floor. Because we don't have beds in our shelter, Ted. Brilliant on you not to put beds down here. Alright, so everything looks intact. We don't have any poop stains on the wall, but I must admit, it, it's a little bit lonely and empty without uh, Timmy Boy staring blankly, blankly at the wall over there, so it is pretty depressing. Day two. We're done fighting, but for how long? Uh, you guys shouldn't even be fighting. It's the second day after an atomic bomb! Blow up your own neighborhood, damn it! It's okay, I gotta calm down. Mary Jane says, well, uh, Mary Jane says she's fine and doesn't need anything. Today's been fine for Dolores thus far. Ted is not complaining today, at least not very much. Uh, damn you, Ted. You son of a bitch. Alright, so this is fine. We're gonna go on with this. There we go. On our way back from the last uh, expedition. Expedition? Hello? I did not say go on expedition, and it's the second day after an atomic bomb blast. Isn't there like radiation outside burning bodies? Oh, oh god, you guys are stupid. I didn't say go on an expedition. We noticed some drawings of a half-ruined wall nearby. It was a very crude map of our town and uh, one place was marked with an X. Oh, X, that means treasure, right? Maybe it's someone's secret stash of soup. Of course, Ted, because if you put an X through something, that means go here, there is gold and treasure and invaluable items. Not, oh, this is not a place we need to go. X means go, not not go, right? I'm sorry, that got confusing. Uh, shall we go and check it out? No, Ted, it is the second damn day after a bomb blew up! There's not gonna be going anywhere at any time in the near future. I'm sorry, so, alright, everything looks good. Nobody dead yet. I think we're good to go. Day number three, we're not going to run around like knights of the round table. <laughs> not nice, Ted, not, not nice. Following some madmen scribbles on the wall. The world is crazy enough as it is. Getting something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. Yeah, Mary Jane, you can suck. You don't need nothing. If there's one thing we need, it's water for Dolores. If Ted doesn't drink uh, anything, he won't last long. All right, so we're gonna go one more day. Can we do a tag? Can you make it one more day, buddy, without dying? I, I think you can. It looks like the area is still irradiated. Going to the wastelands right now is unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick. Well, we were just told on day two, they came back from an expedition. How the hell did you go out one time and not get sick, and then the second time you're gonna be, you know, sick and dying? I, oh, I, I, I don't even know what's going on anymore. It's hard uh, being down here, living here. We need to make the best of it, or else we might find ourselves in even more trouble. Yes, and you have a, a thing of bees or flies flying around, some cartoon soup. Terrible drawing, Ted. Terrible drawing. You you should have improved your art skills down here, buddy, with all the free time you have, but I guess that's too much to ask. Now, day four. 
It's hard not to worry considering our current situation. Some days, well, what do you mean your current situation? You're alive, buddy. You could be dead, but you're alive. And you've got four cans of soup, so I wouldn't complain if I were you. Or maybe it's five cans of soup. Ah, even better. Some days we're still struggling to deal with this shelter life, but we can't lose hope. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Well, oh, fat ass Mary Jane. Get sucked, get you dumb bitch. Slap your one, Ted. We really need to find her something to drink fast. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Ted needs, okay, yeah, okay. So everything looks fine. Uh, speaking of water, I'm getting a bit parched myself. Uh, mm, mm. Oh yeah, Ted, does that look good to you, boy? That water look real good to you, Ted? Actually, hold up. What did it say in the journal? Ted looks like he's one foot in the grave. Okay, all right. Everybody gets water. Everybody gets soup. That's, uh, is that, is, is that a little too much, actually? No, that's fine. Okay. Everybody gets water. Everybody gets soup. Ha, <laughs> Timmy's dead. Ha, ha, ha. dead. Ha. Uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Our neighborhood is still highly, okay, all right. So we're not going anywhere. There's no reason to go anywhere. We are going to try to survive as long as possible. And if somebody knocks on the door saying, hey, opportunity, we may take it depending on the situation. Because I know the situations that come up, you're like, wait, no, no, this is a bad idea. This is a really bad idea. And then if you accept it, you have a higher chance of surviving. So, you, you know, we, we need to do that. So, uh, yeah. Being safe down here is much better than being pulverized out there. But that doesn't mean we don't want to go outside. Maybe we could take a walk soon. The neighborhood is probably much more peaceful since the bombings. You know, it's kind of interesting because if I knew a bomb was being dropped where I live and there was no way to get out in time to avoid the bomb, and I knew that I was going to be down in a shelter for possibly six months to a year, more than likely, I would probably just want the bomb to hit me and kill me because can you imagine how bad it would be sitting in a shelter for six whole months? That would be terrible. That would be, oh God, I don't even want to think about it. And then you think about people that have been in solitary confinement in prison for 60 years or, or there's stories out there of people being in solitary confinement in a little cell for years and years. How? Do you do that? How do you, I, I don't even know, dude. Like that, that's mind blowing. How could you stay sane in a hole in the ground or in a room that's no, no bigger than a broom closet for the, for like half of your life? Oh God, oh, I thought high school was bad and that was four years and I was almost ready to kill myself. Couldn't even imagine. Day five, we can take care of ourselves. Mary James seems fine today. Hopefully it will stay that way. Everything seems okay with Dolores. Ted's fine. Okay, you guys are all fine. My, my God, look at that. We still have, oh, we almost got, we did actually. We got full soup and full water. <laughs> High five, that, that was a good run. We got all the soups and waters we could get in that uh, scavenging run we did at the beginning. That, that, that's pretty good. All right, and nobody's going anywhere. Day five, that radio virus has been silent for the past few hours. We need our news. We need our music. Music, play some music for me, fiddler. And, but, 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 wait a minute, there's a bomb that went off. You tell me the radio towers are still intact? I think not, Ted. You're going to find yourself a lot of static. Uh, we all agree on that and it, okay refusing to cooperate we need to, all right all right all right so fine that's fine guys go ahead play the radio try to find some music find some dubstep and you broke the radio because you're bitch idiots damn it ted damn it how stupid can one human be i see that ted that's good old crispy uh water yeah, I had to actually look at it because I didn't know it was water. But you're not going to get any of that because you broke the radio, you dumbass. Oh, God, Ted, Ted, Ted. Did they not teach you? To turn the radio on, you don't slam it on the desk. That's only in, in comedy. Oh, God, you're so dumb. Well, that didn't go so well, and we broke the damn thing. Technology changes so fast these days, it's hard to keep up. No, no not really, Ted. If you just don't hit it with your fist, it'll be okay. Who needs a radio anyway? Yeah, okay. Oh my, oh, oh god. D did they not even explain to me how you broke it? It's impressive how well Ma Mary Jane is that today's fine for Dolores. So I was like, okay, alright, alright guys, it, it, that's nice. You're not getting a damn ounce of water for breaking the radio. You can drink your own pee, you, you can eat your own poo-poo, and then live that way, cause you, you guys are so damn stupid. After all the days we spend down here, we're not exactly clean, we smell bad, real bad. Well, that's nice, dude. What about that pile of fecal matter in the corner? I'm sure if you rub that on your armpits, it'll make you smell 
Oh, so fine and delicate. <laughs> and then you can sit down together as a family and have that delicious soup for dinner in your finest tuxedo made out of fecal matter. It didn't bother us until we noticed it, and now we are about to get sick, so why not take a shower? Well, there's no shower tent, so I'm sorry. We don't have soap. Oh, Jay, drop the soap, did you tell? <laughs> Prison jokes. But there are other alternatives to consider. Well, we've got bullets as an option. I guess killing yourself is a good option when you can't shower. A gas mask. It's only gonna work for one person, Ted, and bug spray, which will probably end the death somehow, especially when you try to stick bug spray up your butt, but I'm just gonna say no, because you do not need to bathe. I think I'm gonna end the episode off here. Let's just see if they did any damage. Oh, brilliant, and they're all damn sick. Oh, oh God, oh, Ted. How do you get sick from not bathing for five days? Five Oh my god, dude. People used to only bathe on Saturdays. How, how do you get sick from this? You're so stupid. Ted, why? Ted, 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 you're killing me. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This was 60 seconds. We will continue to play this game. Not as much as I normally play it, like maybe once a week, because this game is fun, but for some people, it's not that amazing. But uh, yeah, again, I'm going to play other games like Rocket League. I think Super Hot was something you suggested. Uh, one of you did. And then Subnautica. There, there's a lot of games coming I want to play. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, make sure to drop a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, and peace out.